Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. This video is for you guys. This was the winner on the YouTube community poll for the 70K subscriber celebration. I am so excited to watch Field of Dreams. This has been on my must see list for years. I wanna thank each and every one of you for coming back each week and watching movies with me. I love reading your comments and hearing all the fun facts that you have to say. I wouldn't be here without you guys. I'm so thankful that you're here. If you are new here, don't forget to go ahead and hit that sub button if you're feeling it. Don't forget to hit that like and let's get into this thing. Roll the tape, baby. <laughs> Amy Madigan. Never heard of her. Oh, James Earl Jones in this. I am your father. Ray Liotta as Shoeless Joe and Burt Lancaster as Doc Graham. Music's very magical. James Horner. <laughs> Based on the book, Shoeless Joe. God, 80s intros were just all about the crew. My father's name was John Kinsella. He settled in Chicago where he quickly learned to live and die with the White Sox. <laughs> Had a little when they lost the 1919 World Series. Oh. So... Eight members of the team were accused of throwing that series. <gasps> I don't know any baseball history. Married mom in 38. I was born in 1952. My name's Ray Kinsella. Mom died when I was three. Instead of Mother Goose, I was put to bed at night to stories of Babe Ruth <laughs> and the great Shoeless Joe Jackson. But in 58, the Dodgers moved away, so we had to find other things to fight about. We did. And when it came time to go to college, <laughs> I picked the farthest one from home I could find. Oh. People do that. Force drove him right up the wall, which I suppose was the point. You just want to get so far away from home. My major was English, but really it was the 60s. I marched, I smoked some grass, <laughs> and I met Annie. The only thing we had in common was that she came from Iowa. Uh. I had once heard of Iowa. <laughs> we moved to the Midwest and stayed with her family as long as we could. Almost a full afternoon. <laughs> in June of 74. Dad died that fall. No! A few years later, Karen was born. She smelled weird, but we loved her anyway. What a beautiful intro. I love my family, I love baseball, and I'm about to become a farmer. You bought the farm! Before I heard the voice. I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. Tell me the voice? What voice? Shoeless Joe's voice? <laughs> I just drove through the Midwest. It was beautiful. And I went through Iowa and I've never seen so much corn because I've never been to the prairies in Canada. So it's kind of like the same deal, I guess. I almost got eaten by a twister in Iowa. <laughs> the voice. If you build it, it will come. What? Is he just smiling? Oh, he likes the voice. He welcomes it. It's almost like he's searching for it in the cornfield. If you build it, he will come. Oh my God, I'd be so scared. Hey Annie, that voice just now, what was it? Uh, Dad's going crazy. We didn't hear anything. All right. All right, it's just me and my mind. If you build it, he will come. Okay, you must have heard that. Sorry. <laughs> it better be nice. A beautiful sunset. Is there like a sound truck on the highway or something? Nope. Kids with a radio? Nope. Good process of elimination. Hey, are you really hearing voices? <laughs> Just one. <laughs> what did it say? If you build it, he will come. If you build what, who will come? Exactly. He didn't say. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Me too. Is it his dad? He will come. God? <laughs> God? I'll take her today. I got some errands to do in town. What if the voice calls while you're gone? <laughs> take a message. She seems like a fun mom, and that kid is so cute. Well, it's just I've heard that sometimes farmers out in the field, they, they hear things, you know? You hearing voices? <laughs> I was wondering if I was doing something wrong or something. Oh, okay. You don't want anyone to think you're crazy. Who's hearing voices? <laughs> Ray is. No, I'm not. <laughs> They're looking at him sideways. Darn tractor. Uh, I'm just going to get some three-in-one oil, and that ought to do. <laughs> nice talking to you. Now the whole town's going to be worried about him. No. No, I'm like scared. If you build it, he will come. 
All right, that's it. Huh? Who are you, huh? What do you want from me? What is he trying to tell him? Is he trying to get into his like core of like his dreams? What? A baseball field? He's giving him a vision? He will come. Well, okay, we know that's shoeless joke. That's what they said in the intro. So he's supposed to make a baseball field on part of his land. So he will come. You don't suppose this is like acid flashback or anything, do you? <laughs> I never took acid. I didn't take any acid. I only smoked pot. I think I know what if you build it, he will come means. I think it means that if I build a baseball field out there that shoeless Joe Jackson will get to come back and play ball again. What? <laughs> You're kidding. He's not kidding. Is shoeless Joe a real guy in history? You're supposed to be so graceful and agile to actually see him play again, right and old wrong. But he's dead. He grew up on baseball, though. I'm 36 years old. I have a wife, a child, and a mortgage, and I'm scared to death I'm turning into my father. What's your father got to do with all of this? I never forgave him for getting old. Oh. He worked hard to raise ya. He must have had dreams, but he never did anything about him. Any, I'm afraid of that happening to me. I want to build that field. He has to, because you would just be curious for the whole rest of your life if you didn't, after hearing that voice. If you really feel you should do this, then you should do it. Oh, nice supportive wife. That's awesome. I mean, his dad's from a different generation. Imagine losing your wife and having... He said he was three when his mom passed away. I couldn't imagine. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> High Cobb called him the greatest left fielder of all time. Oh, he's passing down all the baseball knowledge to his daughter. Could he hit? Lifetime average, 356. <laughs> Going. How do you explain the fact that he hit 375 for this series and didn't commit one air? Huh? I can't. <laughs> he said he's trying to lose. <laughs> Suspended eight of the players, including the great Shoeless Joe Jackson for life. They ruined his life and his career. They screwed over Shoeless Joe. Dad used to say nobody could hit like Shoeless Joe. I think that's the first time I've ever seen you smile when you mentioned your father. He loved that story, I bet. That's why. Or maybe he's starting to feel like he has a purpose now that he's doing this. I have just created something totally illogical. That's what I like about it. Am I completely nuts? Just a little bit. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a beautiful baseball field. I love California kickball, but <laughs> I don't play baseball. And he hasn't heard the voice again. Where's the voice? Any sign? Happen out there. Oh, but now it's winter time. You would feel insane building a baseball field for a dead guy. So how bad is it? Probably almost break even. Oh no, they're in trouble. We used up all our savings on that field, Ray. Maybe they could get people to rent it off of them. Makes it real hard to keep the farm. Oh no. Daddy? In a minute, Karen. <gasps> There's a man out there in your lawn. What? Oh no. Is she going to be the only one to be able to see like a ghost? God, this kid is cute. I think I think she's from now and then. Oh, what? What though? It's Shoeless Joe. <laughs> it's hard to say. Well, you better not run away, buddy. I want every single one of these shirts that Costner is wearing. <laughs> You're gonna say anything? He seems like he likes the field. Play ball. <laughs> you blew it. Sorry. There you go. Hi. Ray Kinsella. Joe Jackson. <gasps> what are the girls doing? Are the girls just watching from the window? How did he get sent here? Bet it's good to be playing again, huh? Maybe he won't want a bat. Getting thrown out of baseball was like having part of me amputated. <gasps> what is he going to learn from Joe? Not have regrets in life? Can you pitch? <laughs> yeah, not bad. <laughs> Hitting home runs all night long. He's like a little kid again. He's so excited. It's like he's right at home, both of them. I am pitching to shoeless Joe Jackson. <laughs> Make it good. <laughs> Woo! Nice hit. Only a little nervous. 
See if you can hit my curve. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you can hit the curveball. Pretty darn good pitcher. Man, I did love this game. Is he going to bring back like the love of the game and like the love of his father back to him by all of this? He's going to have so much more appreciation for his father. What's with the lights? All the stadiums have them now. Oh, oh, he can't leave the field. Is his spirit stuck? His spirit must be stuck. There's something he needs to do to cross over, isn't there? Are you a ghost? It's a great question. What do you think? You look real to me. I built this for you. There are others, you know. There were eight of us. Oh, all the guys that weren't ever allowed to play again. Hey, is this heaven? <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> He's so amazed. Met one of his idols. <gasps> oh, oh, he disappeared into the cornfield. We're keeping this field. <laughs> this stupid baseball field's gonna bankrupt you. Everybody knows it. Maybe he'll charge admission to come watch the eight guys play. Oh, I yeah. know a lot more than you think I know. Well, then how could you plow into your major crop? What's a crop? <laughs> oh, she's gonna spill the beans. The baseball game is on. Everyone's there. Whole crew's here. Annie, I don't believe this guy. You will once you see the game that's on. <laughs> you went to go get them and now they're all here. I love how they test the field. They can live again. It'd be so devastating to not be able to do something that you always love doing for the rest of your life if you got banned. If you'd run like that against Detroit, I don't want 20 games that year. <laughs> Come on, asshole! Pitch! <laughs> Sorry, kid! <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> what a cutie. Ray? Honey, um, Mom and everybody's leaving now. Can no one else see? Ray, think about what I said. You know, I'm just trying to help. I know. So I thought you two were going to watch some game. They can't see it. Rusty? See, there's only eight of them, so they can't play a real game. They think he's gone mad. Well, you don't see him? Karen, honey, uh, what are you watching? The baseball man. He's going to think he convinced his daughter, but they see it. You really don't see him? I don't think it's very polite to try to make other people feel stupid. You don't see these people? It's not funny, Annie. <laughs> so why are they the only ones who can see? Maybe they don't have belief in their heart, so they're closed off from seeing it. Ray! Dinner! Ray! Dinner! <laughs> dinner! <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> See you guys. I'm melting. <laughs> Pretty cool because they're the only ones seeing it. What? Ease his pain? What the, hell, what the hell does that mean? Ease his pain. Who's pain? Thanks a lot. Is it his father's pain because he died with him mad at him? How is he going to figure this all out? What happened to you? The voice is bad. You don't have to build a football field now. <laughs> Ray, this is a very non-specific voice you have out there, and he's starting to piss me off. <laughs> How do you think he feels? He's the one hearing it. And, and filth like, like this has no, no place in our, our school. school. Okay, lady. <laughs> like he's her pain. <laughs> that book you're waving about is hardly smart. Terrence Mann is a Pulitzer Prize winner. Small religious community. Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann. While other people were chanting, burn, baby, burn, he was talking about love. She doesn't like that at all. Well, your husband plowed under his corn and built a baseball field. You gonna be a feisty? Weirdo. <laughs> the whole community's back and forth. It's like a tennis match. At least he is not a book burner, you Nazi cow. <laughs> At least I'm not married to the biggest horse's ass in three counties. All right, Beulah, do you want to step outside? <laughs> Kick your ass, sea bass. <laughs> Let's put it to a vote. Who wants to spit on the Constitution of the United States of America? Anybody? Oh, no one's putting their hands up. You go, girl. Who thinks freedom is a pretty darn good thing? <laughs> put your hand up, Ray. She's good. Annie, what? you gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> this is great. And he figured it out. He wasn't paying attention. She's gonna be pissed. I just figured it out. Step aside, you Nazi cat. I know. <laughs> 
Parents, man. What about it? That's who's paying. Oh, how do you know that? I hope she feels supported because she supports him. But what's Terrence Mann got to do with baseball? I don't know. You tell me. Doing all the research. Is this just all serendipitous? Or is it all meant to be? Or is he overthinking it? You know what he does now? Nope. He writes software for interactive children's videos. Yeah, but what's it got to do with baseball? What's the correlation, Ray? Integrated 26 years ago is named John Kinsella. My father. Do you drive. Well, his dad was obsessed with baseball. How did he find out about his research? As a child, my earliest recurring dream was to play at Ebbets Field. Oh, are they all going to play baseball together? <laughs> Is that what's going to happen? So, in order to ease his pain, you're supposed to take him to a ball game. Yes. Really new territory for both of us, I know, but we're dealing with primal forces of nature. Yeah, I just kept thinking that. I'm like, what are these angels doing? What does this have to do with you? It's what I have to find out. Exactly. He's desperate to figure this all out. It's his destiny. Feel it. I feel it as strongly as I've ever felt anything in my life. There's a reason. You gotta go for it. There's something at Fenway Park, and I gotta be there with Terrence Mann to find it out. I dreamt last night you were at Fenway with Terrence Mann. <gasps> No, you did not. No. Halfway up on the aisle? Yeah, you were keeping score and I was eating a hot, hot dog. dog. I had the same dream. <sighs> I'll help you pack. <laughs> You'd only tell him now you had a dream that he was with Terrence Mann after his whole spiel about Terrence Mann? Of course there's no coincidence. No coinky dinks here. <laughs> I love it. Perfect, he's a VW man. He can totally sleep in that. Hi, I'm Ray Kinsella. It's a great pleasure to finally get to you. Hi, I'm Ray Kinsella. <laughs> he's practicing for when he needs him. Of course they have this. They lived through the 60s and they were hippies. Sort of a tall black man. I'm a I'm friend of his. Did he give you the directions himself? <laughs> get away from me! <laughs> Go away! Get out. <laughs> Two blocks down, right hand side. I feel like you're lying, kid. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Sir, my name's Ray Kinsella. Oh, he does not want to be bothered. Ease his pain. You can't leave. Keep bothering him. We got a learning disability here. Mr. Man, if I could just have one minute. And I don't have any answers for you, so piss off. Oh, he is in deep pain. And all I hear is Darth Vader. All I'm asking is one minute. Please, I need answers. One minute. What is he going to learn about his dad? The universe opens itself up for a few seconds to show you what's possible. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're from the 60s. <laughs> Ow, hey! <laughs> Peace, love, dope! Now get the hell out of here! Oh, he's become a bitter old man. How are you going to get through to him, though? Don't give up. He is a little pest. You pretend he's holding a gun? <gasps> I was hoping I wasn't gonna have to do it this way. What the hell is that? <laughs> Gun, what do you think it is? It's your finger. <laughs> yeah, let me see it. Get out of here, I'm not gonna show you my gun. <laughs> it's too good, I love the back and forth. What are you, what are you doing? He's gonna pull out a gun. I'm gonna beat you with a oh. crowbar. <laughs> Why is he so funny? You're a pacifist! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Yeah, I just did all this research on you. I know you. Get to the point, Ray. I was hoping I could just convince you to come with me. So you are kidnapping me. <laughs> Tonight's game, something will happen there. God, you would sound like such a crazy person. It's like, well, I have all these baseball players at my house, and I built them a baseball field. Now we have to go to the game. I swear to God, I am the least crazy person I have ever known. <laughs> some cookies? I love his sarcasm. About how you always dreamed of playing at Ebbets Field and how sad you felt when they tore it down. I never said that. Was it your dad that said that? What's gonna be the kicker here? I'm not gonna get rid of you, am I? No. Finally convinced him. So what do you want? I want them to start thinking for themselves and want my privacy. He wants to be left alone. What do you want? Oh! <laughs> but yeah, he wants to be left alone. He doesn't want anyone to look Go to him. the distance. <laughs> What do you mean? He's picking up all the signs he's getting. What's the matter? Well, I have voices in my head. You didn't see that? See what? <gasps> oh! I'm sorry, I guess you didn't have to be here.
the mysterious forces all around him. Whenever you want to go, we can go. Fine, let's go. So he could have gone all alone and he still would have got the message sent to him. But now he has him all curious about what's going on and it's going to get him wondering. Maybe it's going to inspire him to write again. What is it you're not telling me? I've already taken up too much of your time. Oh, he's not going to push back? I wish I had your passion, Ray. I used to feel that way about things, but... Never lose your passion, man. You think I'm crazy. I already think you're crazy. So tell him anyways. Said the man's done enough. Leave him alone. That's not what it said. That's not what it said. This is one mysterious and fascinating journey. What in the hell? Moonlight Graham. Done! We were the only ones who saw it. Did you hear the voice too? Told me to find you. Did you did you hear it? Go the distance. Yeah! Do you know what it means? Yes. It means we're going to Minnesota to find Moonlight Graham. <laughs> What do we do when we find him? How the hell am I supposed to know that? You'll get another sign. This is so bitchy. Go with it. <laughs> Yay! Yes! This is so good for the both of them. <laughs> this is gonna change them both. Oh, he's driving. We're going to Minnesota now. I don't believe this. Oh, she's not starting to get worried. Oh, shit, is this the bank? And he got no choice in the matter. They're losing the farm. They're losing the farm and she didn't have the heart to tell him. Is that, that's her brother, isn't it? What in the hell? You guys better get on this and then better get home soon. We're looking for an ex-baseball player named Archibald Graham. He died in 1972. No. Yet no child was ever denied these essentials because in the background there was always Dr. Graham. Oh, he was a humanitarian. The day he died. You're a good writer. Yeah, beautiful so writer. Oh, oh my God, that was so sweet. Something's missing. He's on the case. There's gotta be more. Well, thank God we have you. He had white hair and he always carried an umbrella. He's going deep into the investigation. <laughs> He's totally hooked. Terrence. What did you see? Did you know you're missing? What? His father notified police after receiving no answer to repeated telephone calls. He's so worried about you. <laughs> he reported a missing person. He's like, that's unlike you, Terrence. Oh, who is he going to go see on his walk? What did I tell him? <laughs> you just got to be on the constant lookout for the signs. Right here. What does it say at the theater? What does it say? The Godfather. One of this year's 10 best. The guy with his umbrella. He always had his umbrella. Dr. Graham, are you Moonlight Graham? Walking in the moonlight. <laughs> no one's called me Moonlight Graham in 50 years. How is he able to connect with all these spirits? Did you get to make a play? I never hit the ball out of the infant. I decided to hang him up. That's when he went back to school. It was like having this close to your dream. And I watched him brush past you like a stranger in a crowd. Mm. You know, we just don't recognize the most significant moments of our lives while they're happening. <sighs> That's really hitting him. I think it's to ask you if you could do anything you wanted, if you could have a wish. And are you the kind of a man who could grant me that wish? Just asking. He's going to be able to give all these guys everything they always wanted. That's why he built the field, to fulfill their dreams. And is there enough magic out there in the moonlight to make this dream come true? I think so. What would you say if I said yes? I think I'd actually believe you. Well, sir, there's a place where things like that happen, and if you want to go, I can take you. I guess they'll still have the field there even if they lose the farm. I can't leave just... I really think you're supposed to come with us. It's like a spirit thing. They're not allowed to like leave the area. But no regrets. If I'd only gotten to be a doctor for five minutes, now that would have been a tragedy. Oh, he's happy with his life. That's quite beautiful. No regrets. So now I don't know why in the hell we were supposed to come here. Maybe. Because if I'm not a one anything can change the world. <gasps> if he got in a hit, he might have stayed in baseball. I talked to the bank and they told me that they had just sold the note on the farm <gasps> to Mark. Jesus, what a jerk. I'm going to Iowa with you. We're coming home. <laughs> He's going to for sure see them. I just have a feeling. I'm going to pick up the hi <laughs> hitchhiker. Nice. He looks from a different decade. Well, if it's okay with you, I think I'll just ride along a while. I play baseball. <gasps> Yeah, he looks like he's from the 50s or something. And even the way he talks. Oh, oh. <laughs> Terrence has got the biggest grin on his face. Hi, I'm Archie Graham. 
to him when he was younger. What happened to your father? He never made it as a ball player, so he tried to get his son to make it for him. That's why he wanted to leave home. I was 10 playing baseball. I got to be like eating vegetables or taking out the garbage. Such a chore. Oh no. This is the backstory. I packed my thing, said something awful and left. After a while I wanted to come home, but I didn't know how. He didn't know how to reconcile. No, no. I hope he gets to reconcile with his father somehow. He said I could never respect a man whose hero was a criminal. Shoeless <gasps> Joe Jackson. You knew he wasn't a criminal. Then why did you say it? Because it hurts. Son of a bitch died before I could take it back. This is your regret. We say the meanest thing sometimes. This is your penance. Now I know what everybody's purpose here is, except mine. <gasps> okay, he's going to be able to see the baseball field all lit up. <gasps> I mean, that's got to cost a lot of money with all those lights. <laughs> you better turn the lights off. <laughs> Terrence, why are you here? This is Terrence Mann. Terry. Welcome. Thank you. Hi. She's like, I love you. <laughs> uh, so many people <laughs> have come. Can Terrence see them? Oh, my God. He can. That shoot is Joe Jackson. I'd like you to meet Shoeless Joe Jackson. Joe? <laughs> are you Graham? Well, what are you doing on the sidelines here? You came to play ball, didn't you? Rookies. Let's go, Archie. Show him what you're made of. I bet you he can hit. <laughs> oh, he made him mad? Oh! Oh. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Don't win, kid. <laughs> Good thing for you, we didn't throw the fastball, kid. <laughs> Home run, coming up. All right, those first two were high and tight. Either loan away or in my ear. But watch out for in your ear. <laughs> Just in case you need to jump out of the way the last second. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, safe. <laughs> what does it all mean, Basil? What does it all mean, Basil? Oh, he's going to walk right through the game. I hope he gets hit. Hi. Oh, but they can see him. Hey, it's time to put on your little fantasies and come down to Earth. You mean? No, I can't, can't see any of it. How do you do? I'm the Easter Bunny. Right, listen. <laughs> Daddy, you don't have to sell the farm. Oh, she's eating a hot dog. Ray, do you realize how much this land is worth? Yeah, it's worth a goddamn lot. We're staying. Ray, you're bankrupt. Daddy. We don't have to sell the farm. Does she have some sort of message? Why does she keep saying that? People will come <gasps> from all over and want to pay us, like buying a ticket. Well, that's what I said at the beginning. Kids know. Kids have a sixth sense. Mark just can't see because he's too clouded. He doesn't have imagination. I'm sorry, Ray. We got no choice. Well, why don't you loan them the money? People will come, Ray. Just sign the papers. Get. Out of here, Mark. It'll be as if they dip themselves in magic waters. Such a good writer. <laughs> He's got such good words. People will come, Ray. Listen to Terry. It's a part of our past, Ray. It reminds us of all that once was good. Is this why you're here? To tell them that? Do it for the people that are going to come. Happen to you so it could happen to them and they will come. Oh, you're crazy. You can do it, pal. <laughs> And he's so happy. Not nothing. And you turn your daughter into a damn space. Get your hands Don't off. Don't touch her, her like that. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, I just threw off the goddamn bleachers. I don't know. Is she bleeding? Should I get the Look cutter? Look at her face, she's blue. Annie, wait. Well, now he can't cross. <gasps> he's, uh, it's what's his pickle. Yeah, Moonlight Guy. <gasps> this child's choking it. Oh, because she has the hot dog. <laughs> oh my god, Karen! Mark, get your ass off my baseball field. No, son. Thank you. Oh my god, you can't go back. <gasps> you can't go back, can hey, you? It's all right. I'm sorry. It's all right. That was the karma. That's why he picked him up. He saved his daughter. He was able to play with them. Oh man. Wouldn't work for me one day, would it, boy? I guess I didn't put two and two together until... <laughs> Ball players get here. <gasps> Does he see them now? Hey, Rookie! You were good. I don't have any tissues. 
Do not sell this farm, Ray. <gasps> you gotta keep this farm. <laughs> Did that break him? Oh God, he is stunned. I mean, that would throw you if a child almost died. Oh my God, Mark is now changed man. We're gonna call it a day. Hey, do you wanna come with us? You mean it? No, not you, him. That's why he's meant to come. Well, Wait, you wouldn't be here I'm for what? Attached. You have a family. I know, but I want to know what's out there. But you're not invited. You're not meant to see it. What do you mean I'm not invited? That's my corn out there. You guys are guests in my corn. Ray. Ray, it's not meant for you. What's in it for me? Is that why you did this? I think you better stay here, Ray. There was a reason they chose me. I gave that interview. Oh. You lied to me. You said your finger was a gun. <laughs> He's the voice of reason here. And if I had the courage to go through with this, what a story it'll make. Don't be jealous. Just let him go. Your story will unravel in due time. Just trust the process. You better not write about it. You're going to write, write about again. It. Will you? He better not go to heaven. You come back, Terry. I don't understand this magic. James, your smile and laugh is just so joyous. <gasps> God, he was not afraid at all. He dove right in. Y'all come back now. Oh, he's still standing there. What are you grinning at, you ghost? <laughs> if you build it, he will come. Who is his dad? It's my father. He's his pain. It was you. No, Ray. It was you. He's going to be able to apologize to his father now. He gets to see his dad young again. Hi. He doesn't know who he is. Just wanted to thank you folks for putting up this field. Look how wonderful his dad looks. It's very nice meeting you. Oh, yeah, she never got to meet him. <laughs> Here's your chance. Ease both your guys' pain. It really is. Well, for me, it's like a dream come true. Gets to play with everyone. Can I ask you something? Is, is this heaven? It's Iowa. <laughs> Maybe it's both. Is there a heaven? Oh, yeah. It's the place dreams come true. <sighs> oh, man. I can't. Maybe this is heaven. Yeah, you got a good life, man. Your dad's okay. No, you are too. Hey, Dad, you want to have a catch? <sighs> I'd like that. His dad does know it's him, even though it's him younger. Oh, man. Get to have that last catch with him. Come on. Everybody's coming. <laughs> I'm going to be able to keep the farm. Oh, my gosh. Look at everybody that's coming. Oh, my God. That was so magical. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> this was just such a heartwarming movie. It felt really, really lovely to watch. I was so enthralled in all the magic that was happening. The score was great. You could hear that little twinkle and it just would pull you in. So yeah, I was hooked in and ready for the ride. I had no idea where we were going. So that ending, I, I, I shouldn't say I didn't have an idea. I felt like his unresolved issue and the regret he had from how he had dealt with his father. Letting go of that and also having forgiveness within yourself. And it was so beautiful that all he had to do was ask him to play a game of catch. And within that, it brought his father so much joy. And you could see in his father's eyes that everything was okay. So that was incredibly beautiful. Thank you guys for watching with me. I can't wait to read all of your comments down below. Tell me if this one's one of your favorites, how much you love it. Beautiful, beautiful message. Beautiful. <laughs> you guys are so beautiful. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for being here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.